Girls and welcome back to the channel, y'all. Today I am going to be making a German chocolate cake from scratch. So these are my ingredients. The ingredient you will need is four ounces of chocolate, a half a cup of water, that's to melt the chocolate, two and a four quarter cups of all-purpose flour, or you can use two half, two and a half cups of uh, cake flour. Y'all, we're gonna just get into this. I'm gonna show you guys what I am doing. I have my eggs, I have my sugar, I have my butter, I have my chocolate, and I have my flour, my flour, salt, and baking soda in this bowl. I need to mix it together, but it's in that bowl. And you want that to be separate. Let me mix it together like this. But in a separate little bowl, you need that. So let's get this started. And I'm using four, and this is four ounces of baking chocolate. Okay, you guys, I have finished chopping up my chocolate and this is my pot with a half a cup of water. You're gonna just put that in there. You're gonna put this on the stove and let it um, cook. You just wanna melt the chocolate. You don't want to burn it, you just melt it. As soon as it starts melting, you can actually turn the pot off. So that's how it looks in there. You don't wanna burn your chocolate. So I'm gonna put this on the stove and I will come back and show you guys how it looked. Okay, you guys, so that chocolate wasn't on there for no more than five minutes, probably less than that. So I'm going to just let it, so now I'm going to let it sit and cool off. It will thicken back up, but this is going in your cake. This is the chocolate for your German chocolate cake. Okay, guys, I am back, and I have two sticks of butter, one cup of butter, which is two sticks in this bowl. And I'm going to add two cups of sugar, two cups, and I'm going to blend it until it's light and fluffy. And um, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so I have four eggs and I separated. I'm just using the yolks right now for this. And I'm going to um, add in one egg yolk at a time until it's all incorporated. Now, that's one. Okay, you guys, I have that all blended up. Now I am going to add in my melted chocolate and a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. Teaspoon of vanilla. You really want your melted chocolate to cool because you don't want to have um, scrambled eggs, scrambled egg yolks, rather. So you want it to be cool when you put it in there. Okay, so I'm going to blend this up, and I'll come back with the next step, you guys. Okay, y'all, that's my mix up with the um, eggs, chocolate, vanilla, sugar, and butter. And I forgot to tell you guys that I preheated my oven to 350. That's a very important step. You need to preheat your oven to 350. Now, my next step is going to be I'm going to add my flour, but in I'm going to add half the flour now and half the buttermilk. It's a cup of buttermilk, and um, I told you guys two and one quarter cups of um, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And I have a table, a teaspoon of uh, baking soda, baking soda, not powder. I have a teaspoon of baking soda, and I have a teaspoon of salt in my flour mixture. So I'm going to add half of it in here, just half, and then I'm going to add half of the buttermilk. But I'm going to mix it up a little bit just so it don't splatter all over the place. So that's half of it. I'm going to just mix it with my spatula so it doesn't go everywhere. Half the buttermilk as well. You guys, I also forgot to tell you guys that um, I have already greased my um, pans. So you'll need three eight inch um, cake pans or you can use two nine inch cake pans. Pans, not pins, pans. Okay, I'm going to blend this up. I put the milk in there, half of it and half the flour. I don't know. You guys, and I'm blending everything on low. I'm not doing it too high. But you want to just mix it until it's like um, complete. You don't want to blend, over blend, and mix it because you want your cakes to be nice and fluffy. Okay, you guys, here are my egg yolks, and I'm going to beat them on high speed until I get stiff peaks. So um, until you can lift, when you lift this mixer up and they stand up on the thing. And then I'm going to fold them into my cake. But here we go.
That's what you want, guys. You want them to stand up. You don't want to over mix, um, over blend your egg yolks because you can make them back runny and watery. So you just want them to, you get stiff, stiff peaks. Now I'm going to add this into my eggs and I'm going to fold it in. I mean into my cake batter. I'm going to fold it in. So when people say fold, that's what they mean by fold. You want to fold. You don't want to stir. You can turn your bowl, but you want to fold it in. Fold. You guys, here's my cakes. I have two of them. So I'm just moving around a little bit just to smooth them out. But that's it in the pans. And I will put these in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, you guys, in this pot, I have one. And this recipe for the um, icing calls for only eight, a cup of um, evaporated milk. But I'm going to use the whole can because I'm going to, like, not double it, but I'm going to, because it, it never seems to be enough icing to me. But you're only supposed to use eight ounces, but I'm going to use the whole 12 ounce can. And it calls for one stick of butter, but I'm going to use a stick and a half because I'm halfening. I'm making like one and a half, um, one and a half batches of the icing. So one, one and one, sir, one and a half servings. So I have um, four egg yolks. It calls for three egg yolks, but because I'm doing half, I'm going to do two egg yolks for the second batch. So that's the uh, second one. So it's three egg yolks, one cup of evaporated milk, one stick of butter, and for your icing. And a uh, teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm going to put a teaspoon... One and a half teaspoons of vanilla because, like I said, I'm making half. One and a half. So I'm going to put one and a half sticks of butter. Let me get my half stick of butter. And then we're going to cook this on the stove. You want to continue to stir because you don't want your eggs to scramble. You don't want scrambled eggs. Um, let me get my whisk that i'm gonna whisk this together just a little bit then i'm gonna put it on stove and i'm gonna cook it i'm not gonna cook it that long because like i said you don't want your eggs to scramble you just kind of want to get it hot you guys so my cakes are um done i'm just letting them cool in the pot then i'm gonna take them out i mean in the pan then i'm gonna take them out and sit them on a wire rack so that they can cool a little more and then uh i'm gonna ice them once my cakes are completely cool you guys this is my milk eggs sugar and vanilla you kind of wanted to coat the spatula kind of like that you want to cook it for like 12 minutes 12 minutes until it gets thick i mean this is not super duper thick but it's thick enough and it's when it cools it's going to get a little thicker so i'm going to add my pecans and my um coconuts my coconut so i it calls the recipe calls for one cup of pecan chopped pecans i'm putting a cup and a half because remember i may i'm making one and a half batches remember so that's the uh, the pecans and i'm going to add the coconuts which you need a cup and one third cups of uh, coconuts flakes flakes of coconut whatever you want to say it coconut, but i like coconut i like german chocolate cake but i don't really care for coconuts too much so you guys this icing is made from scratch so i already know that i need more coconuts that wasn't even one third cups but remember i'm making um a batch and a half of the icing. So we're gonna add some more coconut. And you're gonna let this cool off before you ice your cake with it. Y'all see how good that looks? It looks so scrumptious. I love German chocolate cake, you guys. I, I think I already said that. That German chocolate is like one of my favorite cakes. My icing, I'm gonna let this cool off. My icing. It was three simple ingredients, not three. You need sugar, butter, uh, evaporated milk, vanilla, coconut flakes, and pecans. So that's five ingredients for your icing. Don't go buy that stuff at the store in that little case. I'm talking about I made a um, German chocolate cake. No, you didn't, you lying. Okay, you guys, so I will come back. Okay, you guys, this is the end result of my German chocolate cake. So you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with every and anybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell 
so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post a video. I love you guys. Bye.